what is dead space and what is not dead space, okay? Anything that is put between the Y, here's the Y right here. This is the Y and the connection of the endotracheal tube. Now, you could argue that the tube itself um, was also serve as dead space, but for the, the way that Egan states it here, anything inserted between the Y and the patient airway connection serves as dead space. So this would resemble an HME. This is obviously a nebulizer. This is a large bar tubing. This is a suction catheter. And what we see is that the more items that we put between the Y and the airway attachment, this all now becomes wasted space, wasted ventilation. Because when that ventilator pushes a tidal volume in, the end part of that tidal volume is stuck here. It's going to be right here. Likewise, when the patient exhales, and CO2 comes out, it's everything here to here, that's the back end of the exhaled CO2. The back end of expiration is still filling all of this space right here. So what does that mean? That means when Egan says mechanical dead space is defined as the volume of gas rebreathed, you see, if CO2 is left filling in here upon exhalation, then when the next tidal volume comes in, the first portion that goes down to our alveolar units is rebreathed CO2. That's mechanical dead space.